is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave and Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? <clears throat> happy New Year too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. But you're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning I had a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? My guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 25, NASDAQ up 16, S&P's flat, gold contract up $7.80, trading at 12.57 an ounce. You have silver up 14 cents, $16.65 an ounce. Platinum up five bucks, 9.30 an ounce. You have the copper up two and a half pennies at 2.63 a pound. Light sweet crude up 25 cents, $42.99 a barrel. Bottom line, folks, Oil is building cars to get down into that $40 level. Notes, 10-year note up three ticks, 126.24. 30-year bond up five ticks, 156.20. Both notes and bonds continue to go higher. They rejected price all week long. You have confirmed ABC structures on the way up. On the 10-year, we're talking about a 128.20 as the price projection. On the 30-year, it's 159.30. Uh, we, if we get to that uh, price projection on the 10-year, by the way, folks, that is going to bring the, uh, the yield in the 10-year under 2%. Right now, it's 2.142. So pretty amazing. King Dollar. King Dollar just can't handle it, folks. King Dollar down 368 ticks today, 96.935. King Dollar is making its way down to the 95 area. That's in the short term. Longer term, three, four, five months. I'm expecting what you're going to see. It's going to go after the low of this consolidation that started in March of 2015, and that low is 91 to 92. The euro is trading at 111, almost 112 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 111 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so this is going to be a heck of a close, folks. The Russell indices, and there's a lot of them. We all we talk a lot about the Russell 2000, but you get the Russell 1000, 2000, 5000. There's a lot of indices that the Russell has. That's going to be a rebalance and at the close. And specifically what that means is that all these mutual funds that are in the Russell, as stocks go up and down, some of the stocks will go from the Russell 1000 to the 2000. Some will go from the 5000 to the 2000, vice versa. Well, you're going to see a huge amount of volume come in at the close, and you're going to see huge volatility. That volatility will go through the S&Ps also. The reason being is that some of them actually get kicked out of the Russell. So bottom line, the SPY out here today, this is where we stand. You get a sideways move. You get light volume. The SPY tried to get up into the... 243.51, which it did, gave it up. We'll see how this shoots out coming into the close. The Dow Industrials, what we have with the Dow, and we'll see how the uh, volume comes in of the Dow. The Dow looks like right now you're only down 20 bucks. Uh, bottom line is that we were we were 21,374. You had a low out here of 21,333, and we'll see if they sell that baby off as we get into the close. Uh, yesterday was uh, very unusual that that's what they did. They sold it off slightly. The composite, 
The composite's going to be a big one to watch. The reason being is this. We're on Friday, so now you get a weekly setup that's happening. The composite right now is over the consolidation after the downdraft two weeks ago Friday. Two weeks ago Friday, we went from 63.41. We go to 63.37. We've made it all the way back up to 62.54. And if this closes over 62.43, which we're 10 points over it right now, that'll be saying, guess what? Next week, you can make a run for these highs once again. That's your NASDAQ composite. If we go take a look at the three Qs, the NDX 100. What we have with the NDX 100 is this. NDX is up 31 cents. You're at 140.102. Now the NDX would have to close over um, 140.93, which is over right now. You get a close over that, that's saying that it can also go higher. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold, gold got a slight bid out here. Uh, not the type of bid that I'd like to see with uh, the dollar basically you know, going downtown, but bottom line, we'll take what we have, what they give us. And the market today is giving us, you're up 770, you're 1257. Uh, I would have liked to get into 1259. Bottom line, we'll take it. If we go take a look at the GDX, what, it, what is happening is that the equities are leading the contract right now. The way the GDX is set up, it's a nice setup. GDX is up 37 cents. You put this on a weekly basis, and what you're going to see is you're going to see that you came into the, the bar from the fifth, the week of the 5th of May. You had dramatically lighter volume rejected price and now you got into the higher bar also uh the low of the last high swing high uh was 22.49 right now you're 22.74 so that's saying your probability goes much higher that you're going to run up to 23.86 and good old the notes and bonds they're the ever ready bunnies and it's pretty amazing um we're at 126.24 bottom line you're at the high end of the, of the range here. These want higher price, lower yield, as does the, that's the 10 year, 30 years, the same setup. Uh, 30 year right now is actually gonna close out at the highs. Uh, the, this will actually be a closing high for the 30 year in the last six months. Uh, 156.20 and King Dollar. Now, the, the difference of King Dollar uh, also coming into a close on a Friday afternoon. This could get a little more dangerous for King Dollar. King Dollar right now is down 368 ticks. You're at 96.935. And, you know, what you have out here uh, is that it hasn't been able to hold price, has tried to get over the swing points three separate times and just can't handle it. Uh, good old King Dollar is building cause, and it, the cause that it's building uh, is for that to run down into the 95 area. Now, let's go take a look at the Russell 2000. So the IWM, and this is going to have monster action uh, coming into the close. And when I say coming into the close, you, you won't see this get jerky until about 10 minutes of four. Uh, right now, we're at 140.64. You've done 12 million shares. This thing is going to pump in, I don't know if it's going to be another 30, 40, 50 million shares, but it's going to be big numbers. Stay right there, folks. We come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industries down 22, Nasdaq's up 17, S&Ps are up 1, we're going to write back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are down 29. You get the NASDAQ up 16. S&P is a flat. If we go inside the uh, indices and see what we have happening uh, inside the Dow, the strength versus the weakness, what you have out here today is that uh, taking points away from the Dow, you have Home Depot. Home Depot is uh, putting uh, 28 negative points into the Dow. You have the... Ooh, this she is... Uh, Goldman Sachs is putting uh, 17 negative points. You get United Health putting nine, Walmart putting six, Travelers putting three, IBM putting two. Uh, bringing some positive points into the Dow is Boeing is putting 15 positive points, Visa 10, Apple four. We go inside the NDX 100 and we take a look at the NDX 100. What you have is that uh, the leader out here is JD.com. That's up 3.8%. You have Will, uh, Western Digital, up 3.8, Liberty's up 3.4. Taken away from it, Regeneron is down 3% 3, 3 you have Biomyelin down 2.5, NVIDIA is off 2, and Vertex Pharmaceutical is down 2.2. If we go over to the uh, gold con, uh, the XAU folks, let's take a look at a few of these. Okay, so the XAU, Philadelphia Gold and Silver Exchange, index rather, uh, is trading up a buck 30. Now this is gonna get interesting and this is why. We have starting to eat into the downdraft from the Fed day, uh, which was on the 14th. On the 14th of June, we went from 85 to 80. Right now, we're at 83.05, and you have some juice. So your probability gets much higher. Number one, you're going to go up to the high. It was 85.67, and more than likely, you're going to go to 88. That's inside the XAU. We will take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index is set up just about the same way. Uh, you're up $2.70. You're at $193.85. The monster bar from the Fed day is 200 to 188, and you're right into it. You're already five points into it. That's saying it's going to go to the high of it also. Uh, we put this on the weeklies, and on the weeklies, they look really nice. On the weeklies, what has happened is that you're going to have lighter volume as you went into the last swing point from the week of May 5th. You have a rejection of price. That's saying you're going to higher price. Uh, if we go take a look at some of the larger weightings inside the GDX, as well as the XAU and the HUI, um, 
Barrick Gold, ABX. Uh, ABX is up 31 cents. You're at $16.40. Now, this is where this gets really cool. The high of the Fed day is 16.59, and we've already made 16.48. So the Barrick is going to try to make a run to the top of this range, which is the $17.38. If we go to Newmont, which is the second largest weighting inside the GDX, Newmont's trading at 33.77. Uh, that's up 26 cents. That's uh, that. What's cool, what, what's cool about Newmont, Newmont didn't break, I didn't even get close to its swing low of $32. You get down to, well, I guess it did. No, it got $32.55. The swing was $32.04. Uh, we take a look at Rango Resources, which is G-O-L-D. And this is always one of the stronger gold equities out here. And what you like to see, I'd like to see this thing get moving and it hasn't moved yet you know we we've gone in you know a few days from 88 to 90 this needs some juice franco nevada fnv franco nevada is a large largest royalty stock out there oh this is good news okay so franco nevada is that this has just gone from 70 dollars to 74.65 the high uh look at this this is awesome okay so franco nevada folks has already overtaken the high from the 14th. That was Fed Day. 74.59, it goes down to 70, closed at 71. We're over that level. So Franco Nevada's going for its highs, which is 76.27. Franco, and that indication with Franco Nevada is saying that the actual gold contract is gonna move. Uh, why? Because Franco Nevada is contingent only on the gross price of gold. They only have, uh, this is pretty amazing, they have 26 employees, they work like a bank, so they have 26 employees and they collect royalties of 665 million a year, not bad. Let's go over to the, um, well actually, let's first we're gonna look at all the commodities because what you've had here, which is just pretty amazing, is that the dollar can't catch a bid, but you know, yesterday the commodities were getting killed big time. Today you get a, you get a turnaround, which is pretty good. You have coffee up 5.5 percent, orange juice is up three. You get cocoa up three. Natural gas is up one and a half. Uh, sugar's up eight tenths. The only commodities that are down that trade quite a bit are lean hogs, corn, wheat, and soybeans. Uh, we go over to the oil market. Oil's trading up 31 cents. Uh, this can't catch a bid. Uh, if we go to the XLE and we take a look at those large oil and gas integrated equities, this is in trouble big time. So you're up 26 cents today. You're trading 64.23. If we put this on a weekly, and you know this has been leading the price of oil down. This topped out at 78 bucks in December. You're trading 64, and what we've just done. This is a disaster. So what we've done on a weekly basis, folks, is that we've just taken out a B point. So you get 71, it's only five bucks. So $61 is your, 61 to $62 is your ABC structure. And uh, that would bring you back to uh, March of 2016. If we take a look at the largest weighting structures there, you'd have ExxonMobil first. See how this is shaking out. So Exxon's got a small pop today, no volume. That's that's saying it wants lower price. And Chevron, same deal. Chevron is actually weaker than Exxon now. Chevron's just gone from like 119 to 104. We go over and we take a look at the financials, the XLF. Uh, what you have with the financials, they can't catch a bid either. They're down 12 cents right now, $23.84. And they, they got an expansion of volume out here today, you know. So inside the XLF, uh, Berkshire BRK is the largest weighting structure. Oh, look at the yeah, Berkshire's leading it down. So Berkshire in four days has just gone from 171 to 167. And that's after Buffett just made one of the sweetest deals 
uh, in a while uh, bailing out the uh, home capital up in Canada. Uh, bottom line, though, it's, it's coming down. Goldman Sachs, which is uh, one of the large waiting structures inside there, that's down 246. Uh, Goldman's just gone from 227. Oh, look at that. The Goldman's gone down 10 points this week. So we've gone from 227 to 217. Um, Goldman is in a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. And we'll see where that uh, shakes out. The price projection on Goldman for this ABC down is $2. is $202. Right, this is TFN English. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials, down 13. NASDAQ up 19. S&P is flat. Goldman is 80. Up, up Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank as a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now, we're down 42. You get the NASDAQ up 13, S&Ps are flat. And uh, as we come into this close, this volatility is going to pick up. If we go over to the uh, S&Ps and, uh, and take a look at the S&Ps, what you're going to see, uh, the E-minis, uh, you're going to see that uh, we just went, I started the program and we were, uh, well, actually, no, one, at 1 o'clock, you're up there at 58.15. Yeah, that's pretty intense. So you've actually given up 20 points in the S&P. 
And the way that this, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is on the NASDAQ futures. NASDAQ futures are giving up 20 points, which th th 20 points in the S&P would be a lot. Uh, 20 points in the, S in the NASDAQ futures is not a huge amount. Bottom line, the way that the NASDAQ futures are trading right now, it looks like as we come into the close, they're going to go after the uh, lows that were out here today, which is 57.63. Now, that would be a trip if, if in fact, uh, that's where we go. We go. Now, let's go into the S&P futures, the E-minis. Um, and, yeah, they had quite a move, too. So the E-minis have just gone from a price point of 24.38 to 24.32. Uh, that low this morning, uh, which couldn't be game out here, is 24.28, which is only three points down from where we are. Uh, and a half hour with a rebalance and on um, is going to get intriguing, no doubt. Uh, so let's go into the IWM. The IWM is still held up. And this is where this is going to get interesting. So the IWM, Russell 2000, the high today was 140 dollars and 90 cents right now we're hanging right at that high so the way this rebalancing works folks is this is that at 20 minutes of four which so eight minutes from now those orders are going to start going in as an indication of what people want to do whether they're going to be buying or selling and as soon as those indications start going in the market itself is going to try to reconcile. Let's say that you have, a, we'll just say, a, we'll pull up a ABC stock. And that's a, that ABC stock is, happens to be in the Russell 2000. And you're a fund manager and you have to sell 50,000 shares of it because it's no longer, it got either too high for the Russell 2000 or it got too low. So it has to be out of the Russell 2000. It's either going to go in the Russell 1000 or go in the Russell 5,000 or you know, move to the S&P or larger stock, period. And then you have another money manager that is just on the opposite side of that. So when the first orders come in, those orders are going to be trying to match. The ones that match, great. Okay, that's just a cross. It's a cross. That's all she wrote. As we keep getting closer to 4 o'clock, that's where the acceleration is going to take place. And the reason being is that what you have there is that, and this is where it gets really intriguing, that you don't want to be a fund manager when you're doing these crosses. And if you do them, because you don't have to do them, you know, like at the end of the market day here. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Um, but what does happen is this. If you are a market maker, uh, this is where you're going to see these spikes because they know that they have to sell in the market. And the real kicker is going to be is that is the momentum going up in the market or going down in the market as this is happening. Because I've seen it happen both ways, meaning that if the momentum's going down, they start pushing the, the baby down. Not huge amounts either. It's not going to be huge amounts. They they can control this pretty good. But it will move like the, the Russell. If we pull up the Russell here for a second, I'll pull up the Russell. So the Russell right now, the actual indice is trading at 1411. Well, this baby can move to 1404 or 1420 in a heartbeat. And I expect it will. That's that's kind of the, the range that I expect that you're going to see this happen um, as we come into that close. Uh, if we take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here, the uh, the culprit out here today that Amazon is you know basically doing under uh, is uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, I guess you can't. I guess I can't blame Amazon just for that. It really, but uh, Bed Bath and Beyond um, is trading. Come out with numbers. Trading down four dollars. You're twenty nine dollars. Uh, this is this gap lower again. Uh, this is one mess of a stock. Uh, this has come down since from eighty dollars. Right now you're at uh, twenty nine dollars. Okay, which is yeah, pretty intense. Um, and guess what? This thing, you know, looks like it wants to go to its lows. Let's go to Paul in Boston. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great, man. Yourself? Great. I listen to you every day. You're a lot of help. Well, um, thanks so much, a, man. We appreciate I, you growling I, and prowling with us. That's right. I got a very simple question. If I want to get a simple one-to-one -one ETF uh, short on oil, what should I use? 
it would be USO. Okay. But if if I wouldn't go shot oil right here, with you know we just came down. You'd want to wait for a big counter trend bounce, Paul. Okay. Because the the USO we just went from ten dollars and um, seventy cents, May twenty fourth. You know we hit a low on Wednesday of eight sixty five. So what what you do? What, what I would do is this. You'll we're going to end up getting a counter trend bounce. You know, it might hit forty, then you get a counter trend bounce. You in the USO situation, like the shot position. You let it go bounce somewhere like around 940, 950. And if it pulls up to that area and you have lighter volume, then you get action, man. You know, okay. that's beautiful. Yeah. Thanks okay, so man. Much. I've been watching oil for a while and just trying to figure out a simple way to, to, to try to go after it. So this is great. Yeah, Thanks and, so and much. USO is a beauty. Have a great one, man. Have a safe Thanks. one. Um, yeah, one of our tigers, uh, Fletch. What's happening, Fletch? Uh, Home Depot. Let's see what's going on with Home Depot. Home Depot, they're taking that apart with volume. So uh, Home Depot's breaking a swing point. Swing point's breaking. It's 150, 173. Breaking it with volume. That's saying that next leg is going to be down to 145. Yeah, let's see what they're saying. So that's uh, it. Well, who knows? The, the, the news is... Home Depot lows drop on tight housing supply retail. Bottom line, folks, if you go into any Home Depot or any Lowe's, right? I have and I, I've seen lots of cycles. I've seen four good cycles in the real estate market in the last, well, forty years. Uh, I can't even believe I'm saying that, man. <laughs> um, but guess what? Um, they're all busy now. Can they keep getting busier? Yeah, they can. I, my reality kind of goes like this. So, so picture Home Depot and Lowe's. What, you, what you've had is this. You had the crash of 2007. You had housing bottoming in about 2010. The, from 2010 to, let's say, 2014, 15, you had plenty of folks, including us, meaning doing huge amounts of real estate. Like we did, I did over 55 houses in three years. Um, all of that, that's huge amounts of money that are going to the housing market immediately, right? Now, in between that, then you had the public coming in doing huge amounts of houses, okay? Well, a lot of the houses are done now, you know? So maybe, maybe can they keep growing like that? They might, you know? I don't think it's going to be a disaster for them, but I think, you know, a huge amount of it is actually, you know, baked in. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow's down 38. Nasdaq's up 18. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2000, 
2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, we're talking about Home Depot. So, let's look at this because you have uh, this is a monster expansion with volume. Someone's on laying out with this uh, on in a big way. We went from 150. Let me look at. I want to look at this intraday first. Okay, so it's been going down all day. So someone's been selling it all day. So if we put this on a weekly, you have interesting. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you get a high. So watch this, folks. This is going to get wild. We have a high volume high on. Home Depot at 160. So that's saying, guess what? Yeah, you're going to get a correction, but you're going to be back up at that high volume high of 160. Now, that being said, this gets pretty intense because it looks to me like you can have a heck of a correction here, too. Well, yeah, you can. You know, this, okay, so if we take this and we have this on a monthly, I have this back to 2012, there's no reason that uh, this can't get down to 131. And. This is an equity that started out at $28, really hasn't had any large corrections since 2011. So that's a normal occurrence. Let me, I want to bring this back to five years and we'll see what kind of retracement that is. So for the last five years, yeah, there you go. So 133 folks is only a 23% retracement. Um, of the run from 20 the middle of 2011 you know that's uh, that's that's normal uh let's go take a look at lowe's uh lowe's is down 235 monster volume also so the same seller is going to be selling both of those that's going to be a fund that has already made a good amount of money we take a look at this and we put this on a five-year and so Lowe's is back inside a consolidation that started in February of 2015. And the way that is set up, well, 72 is your next number. If it doesn't hold 72, 62 is game. Because 62 is the bottom of this consolidation. Now, what's so cool about Lowe's, too, though, guess what? You get a high volume high at 86.25. So that is a good indication. Let's go look at a few of these other inside the housing. Uh, let's see if Mohawk, where's Mohawk? Mohawk Industries, okay, there it is right there. So this is a Warren Buffett company. Oh, huh? this ain't going down. This is going on a higher high. So check this out, this is wild. So. Mohawk, they design, manufacture all flooring. I mean, any, any and every type of flooring, folks, they go on to so many different names. It's insane. Mohawk owns them, just about all of them. Uh, if we, let me just do the fundamentals on this for a few seconds. Um, 
Yeah, listen, listen to this. What they take in? This is unbelievable. They take in nine point four billion dollars, and the revenue is split pretty cool. Uh, you get hardware. I mean, um, flooring outside of ceramic is three point nine billion. They do three point two billion in ceramic. I'm not sure what full row flooring means. They do 1.9 billion. Bottom line, monster numbers. And now, now this is what the difference is here. This is what's pretty cool. Mohawk, folks. You know, yes, we all buy it for our houses and all of this too. When you're buying, but they're making money on new houses. This is how this goes. Because what ends up happening is that you do a house that's. You know, I'm building new houses now, like 1,943 feet on one floor. Bottom line, that's gonna material is gonna be somewhere around five, six, well, 6,500. Putting it in is about 2,200, depending what you're doing. That's on a tile. Um, these things, these are making money hand over fist here. This would be a new build deal. And Mohawk, the way this is, this will end up doing a retracement too, but not today. <laughs> Uh, if we put this on a weekly, what you're seeing, this is pretty cool. So on a weekly, folks, you, I mean, a daily, we had, we already had the, this looks like another ABC up. So your A point is 209. Yeah, it's 32 bucks, 42.52.62. So 260 uh, is the number on Mohawk. That's what that's looking like. And right now, so today you got a you got a couple companies that uh, just upgraded it. That's the bottom line. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Right now, uh, Dow's holding. The Dow is uh, only down eighteen. Nasdaq is up twenty six. S and P's are up two fifty. We are getting a nice bid inside the GDX, which is beautiful coming into the close. Uh, the GDX right now is up forty two cents. Uh, you're getting closer to the uh, eating into the downdraft bar a lot more. Uh, if we go take a look at uh, an eco ego AEM, which has been a strong uh, gold stock, this got a nice bid. This is up a buck thirty, trading forty seven dollars eighty five cents. Uh, that has some action, and a, a few of the uh, the small ones also. If we go to McEwen Mining, folks, MUX, uh, McEwen Mining. On that Wednesday, uh, went from two dollars and eighty cents to two forty-eight. Well, we're two seventy-six today, and that's on the daily. Uh, the weeklies are also going to hold up really nice. Um, all these weeklies actually look pretty good. So the real kick is going to be next week. Uh, do we get a bid inside the actual physical metal market? Because what has happened here is this: the dollar continues to go down. Metals themselves haven't got a real sign of strength since last month, meaning wide price spread accelerated volume. Now, that being said, you're coming into uh, window dressing this coming week, and then we're coming into the July 4th uh, holiday weekend. What's going to be intriguing here is that we're going to have volume today. Most Mondays and Fridays in the marketplace, you don't have volume. Next Friday, I don't expect we're going to have volume. The market on July 3rd is only opened until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're closed July 4th, so you can see where this is going. Uh, bottom line, you have a couple of days next week for this market to move. If the market doesn't move next week, guess what? It's not going to, you know, the market is normally, excuse me, folks, is normally pretty bullish going into July 4th. If the market stays like this, it doesn't have to go up further, but I can't picture it pulling back uh, when there's not a lot of um, participants inside the marketplace. If we take a look at the high flyers that have been keeping the NASDAQ so high, Apple is up a buck six right now. We take a look at Google. Google's trading up 880. That's gonna close uh, the high for the week. Uh, the king of the road, Amazon, is flat the facebook look at this facebook's going to close at a high facebook's up a buck 55 
this is going to be pretty wild that actually Facebook might close today at a closing high. So I believe thus far the closing high in Facebook is 153.63 and we're at 154.90. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. If you would like to test drive my gold report, folks, the way you do it, come over to our website at TFNN. Go to newsletters. Go to the gold report. You can test drive that 30 days absolutely free. I'll be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 13. You get the NASDAQ up 27. S&Ps are up three. And uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, we'll see. It doesn't look like there's going to be uh, much uh, volatility uh, coming into this uh, close. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see just how this uh, does shake out. If we take a look at the uh, small caps right now, the Russell 2000, the IWM, uh, right now it's trading at its high. Uh, you're at 140.94. And yeah, it just spiked over the high of this morning, which is 140.90. And it has some volume. So uh, what that's saying is that uh, that's saying that uh, that push when I was talking about it a little bit earlier, if the momentum is up going into this, then they'll price them up. If the momentum is down uh, coming into uh, the close, then they'll price them down. That's kind of just how this thing goes because uh, the orders, uh, no doubt, are there and they're going to get out of hand and uh, very quickly. And meaning that, okay, uh, where is the momentum? And just as I said, if it's it's up and at that at this particular point it is up. Uh, We'll see whether it's going to run them right into the close. If we go over to the uh, 
S and P's for a second. We look at the S and P's. So the futures, the the small, I mean the uh, E mini uh, bottom line is going to be flat. The Nasdaq NQU. The Nasdaq still a toss up. The Nasdaq look like it still wants still wants to go higher. It's pretty amazing. Uh, just as I said, Facebook look it's going to close at an all time high today, and that's going to be quite a feat after the fact that uh, how it came down. Yeah, right now you're at one fifty five oh two, and now it had hit one fifty five fifty nine before it, it imploded two weeks ago today. Uh, but this would be an all-time closing high, which, which is pretty cool. That's the bottom line. Uh, let's go take a look at the silver market. So what we also need, uh, if you're in this metals market, folks, we need silver to catch a bid. Hasn't caught a bid. As gold hasn't caught a bid, um, silver up 15 cents, $16.64. I want to see silver get back inside $16.79. That's the number you want to see. We go over to that uh, dollar index for a second as we come into the close out here. It's just laying flat. $96.95. Uh, that looks that it definitely wants that 95 area. And the euro, by the way, uh, no matter how many problems they have over there, this euro, Brexit's on the way. London, you know, well, that would be the pound. But uh, bottom line, this this euro wants to run up to 112.84. And it looks like it actually wants to run into the 116 level. That's the top of the consolidation that we're now in. Don't forget, folks, uh, all the programming at TFNN, you can get right on your cell phone. We start live programming every trading day at 9 o'clock in the morning. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we go to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, we go to 6 in the afternoon. Uh, if you've never test drove uh, TFNN on your cell phone, please do it. You go to TFNN. On the right-hand side, you're going to see... A little box. It'll say, hit Tiger TV. Our servers are going to know exactly what type of phone you're on. You're going to get some great HD quality video as well as audio. Uh, really easy to do. You're going to be really surprised uh, the, the type of quality that you're going to get as, you're, as it's coming in. Uh, we, oil market. Oil market still wants lower price. Bonds want higher price. Uh, dollar wants lower price. We need a bid inside the... Uh, metal the physical metal market uh what we do have out here the gdx the xau and the hui they're all really good setups so the equities themselves uh have set up really well this week they rejected lower price had light of volume want higher price always remember folks whatever you think about you bring about whatever you focus on grows and whatever you want in life folks visualize it like a nice big motion step into it take ownership of it fly with it thanks for being here folks have a great weekend safe weekend look for you speaking right back here monday morning nine o'clock go get them folks You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.